take number two because I left my phone on the bus. Oh my god, that would have been very, very bad. But, well hey, what's happening, uh, boys and girls, wherever you may be watching in the world, Alex here in downtown Toronto, Canada on a beautiful Saturday early <laughs> evening. And as you uh, just saw, I got off the 19 Bay route, and I started the video as the bus was about to, uh, let me make this light here first. Yeah, um, as the bus was turning from Queen's Key, I started the video, walked off, and then I realized I didn't have my phone with me. So I hopped back into the bus, and <laughs> oh my god, it fell right out of my shorts. But uh, anyway, uh, it's a nice day outside, and the temperature is not too cool, not too hot, unlike yesterday when it was like in the mid 30s. But now, it's a, uh, what's the temperature right now? 19 Celsius. So pretty fair temperatures right now. And I'm happy with that. Good to see everybody out. So uh, <laughs> there's Queens Key West right there. And if I didn't mention, I'm on Bay Street in downtown Toronto and I've been out since 12 p.m. filming whatever I can uh, see. I went to I went to film a walking video on Shepherd Avenue in North York and then I went to SDC uh, as there was a nostalgic celebration going on. They brought back the uh, the balloons and then, uh, and then I filmed another walking video along Danforth Avenue. And then for my ride video, well, I tried to anyway. I went to Woodbine Station because there are two new flyers in service on the 92. However, when one came, I got on. And I'm going to have to uh, rush here because this intersection is notorious. And I could get stuck here for who knows how long. Sorry if you're shaking, guys. Apologize for that. But we just crossed Lakeshore Boulevard West, which is right underneath the Gardner Expressway. And there is Scotiabank Arena, formerly Air Canada Center, home of the National Hockey League's Toronto Maple Leafs and the National Basketball Association's Raptors. And... Uh, I filmed a walking video like several weeks ago down Bay and then along Queen's Key. And here's the recently completed CIBC Square. And I don't think I've filmed a video up the up this side of Bay. But uh, anyway, continuing my day. Uh, the bus went out of the bus I was on. It was a new Fly Electric bus. I wanted to catch up on content because I was sick. So, uh, yeah, the driver announced it was going out of service for no reason. And at that point, it was very crowded. So I'm like, uh, screw it. I'm just going to get out of here. And then I and then I went to uh, see if I could catch another new flyer on the 75 Sherburn. And I successfully did. Even though we caught almost every single freaking light. But it worked out well, and now I'm here. So three walkie videos out today. I wanted, as I said on my community post last night, as I was uh, on sell your data because the internet in my building went out, and it won't be restored until uh, tomorrow. So I can't upload any videos. I can edit though, but can't upload nor respond to your comments. And also, again, I, I haven't really filmed uh, much uh, this week because of that, and uh, I've, I've been recovering from a cold. I'm still sick, but uh, I'm a lot better now. I feel like my, my uh, throat is still hurting, but... Yeah, not really. Anyway, uh, we're going... Uh, yeah, I don't, think I've, I don't think I've walked this part of... Uh, on this side of Bay Street. Because normally, I'm on this... I'm on the other side, right next to... Uh, 
Union Station. If I didn't mention the date, today is Saturday, June 3rd, 2023, and it is 6.13 p.m. kind of done a lot. I mean, when I went out yesterday in the in the freaking heat, the only thing I filmed were, was uh, elevators. I too hot to film a walkie video. So, uh, I did that. But now today seems like a much better day. So, uh, I'm kind of happy. So, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, now we're coming up to Front Street where you can get a postcard view of the uh, CN Tower. Look, there it is right there. And yes, anywhere you go in downtown TO, it's always full of uh, tourists visiting from uh, out of province or from the United States, Mexico, UK, wherever. And uh, with summer approaching, and we're in post-COVID times now, things are getting a lot busier. And we're gonna be walking through the financial district again. I think the last time I filmed my walking video, of this part of it was on, uh, it was on the other side. So for a change, we're gonna go we're gonna continue on this side, and it might be just that the entire uh, the entire way through. So yes, I was around here yesterday. I stayed indoors in the path. Nice uh, bulldog here. Yeah, I, I just stayed indoors in the path again. As I mentioned, it was it was way too friggin' hot to go out in the wild. So, but luckily today it's much cooler. But let's expect. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But if you're in uh, southern Ontario like me, expect uh, a lot of dry and hot, humid uh, weather. I mean, sure, I mean, I don't like the heat. I, I, I love sunny weather, of course, and love to, like, love to see every everybody going out doing their thing, including myself. But uh, I always complain about the, the freaking heat, especially when it reaches, like, mid to late 30s and Celsius, and... Uh, it's, it's dangerous. I, I, I don't think it... Sure, I mean, I, I film lots of... Uh, I film lots of walking videos in, like, 30 degrees weather, but... Uh, uh, I don't think I'll be uh, doing that much. I'd probably rather film more elevators or... Or, on a, or another uh, transit right video on the... Hey, you see, look, there's Brookfield Place. With its stunning atrium. So, as I mentioned, this is the financial district, the largest... Um, the largest uh, business core in Canada. And as I've mentioned in prior videos around this area, the financial district has... Yeah, yeah, look at this. This is a lot of bullshit Doug Ford's doing. I don't understand what the fuck he's uh, doing to ruin this province. Those are crossing Wellington Street. And there's the... Oh, there's part of the uh, TD uh, Center complex. Actually, I did walk a couple parts of the path that I haven't even explored before. Sure, I, I, I love the path. It's very convenient and useful. But uh, I don't film in there anymore because technically I'm walking in... Technically, I'm on private property. There's so many friggin' security guards. And... Uh, <sighs> I got stopped for doing that once, so... Oh, there's Commerce Court. It's nice inside, and they have some beautiful elevators that have been modernized. That I filmed already. As we're coming up to the center of it all, King Street. Actually, yesterday... I went up in one of the, uh... The towers here at the, the TD Center. Pigeon crossing the road. And he ran fast. 
And actually, I went up to the 54th floor. Nope, it wasn't during doors open, it was yesterday. And I didn't really like venture much. I just stepped out of the elevator lobby and quickly looked around. I didn't even film the elevators because I've already done that. And plus, a lot of them have been modernized into a, a destination uh, dispatch, which I am really not a fan of anymore. So, also, us locals have been uh, a fan of the, the, this uh, iconic view of the CN Tower, but it's fully obstructed now by the Google Canada headquarters. Yeah, you, you can't see shit. Ah. Oh. Yep, that is it for this one. <laughs> but there's the date and time. So you now now you don't have to ask me when this was filmed. Actually, you said that it's actually in the title of my video. Okay, well you could you could barely see it though. It's not. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of looks a bit weird, eh? Anyway, I think after this walking video, I'm gonna head home. Actually, the last walking video was on Danforth Avenue. I was contemplating whether I should or not because I haven't had anything since breakfast, but I just went to the, uh, the, the bakery at Victoria Park Station, just got myself a soft baked chocolate chip cookie. It was very good. And I'm not even uh, that hungry anymore. Maybe I'll be uh, thirsting for water. Is that even a word? And here's Adelaide Street West. I think I'm going to cross over to the other side of Bay because I'm going to end it off at uh, Nathan Phillips Square. I think all... Pretty sure all of Canada's biggest banks are headquartered right here in the financial district. Or at least they have like head offices. And all of, almost all of these uh, these skyscrapers are connected to the underground path network, which, which I already explained about. And that is the gothic style Old City Hall clock tower up ahead. And I think they are constructing a new uh, tower part of the Bay Adelaide City. I don't know, I don't think this is, is this it though? I don't even know. The Bank of Nova Scotia. That's Commerce Court right there. And this, I can't even read the sign because I'm way too close. Yeah, you heard that right. Stay away from the road. Because there's so much traffic. Oh, right. There's First Canadian Place, the tallest skyscraper in Canada. Soon to be overtaken by Pinnacle One Young, Virginia. Nice. And we're coming up to Richmond, which is Adelaide's sister. As it goes in the other direction. You know what, every Saturday, I, I always like to come to downtown because there's a lot of things happening and it's definitely worth, uh, you know, filming walking videos, random clips, you know. Hard to believe that I've already, that today I've, I rode on all four subway lines again. So basically I'm going to be completing a circuit once I get back home to, to uh, Glen Karen. There's the 501 bus. Complicated routing because of the construction that's been hampering Queen Street for a long time and doing it even more. And there's the Hudson's Bay store, formerly Simpsons. Well, the store itself has physically changed a lot. I still enjoy going there. In fact, I took like a good hour rest on the sixth floor, which has all furniture and couches, and you know what. I remember back then when it was just all old school. I remember when the elevators were were Turnbull, even though they had Dewhurst fixtures. But it's Cody got their hands in them. Eh, it's meh. I've felt it many times, but unfortunately you can't go up to the 
eight for eighth and ninth floors because they're uh, private floors. Again, uh, if you guys probably don't know, there used to be a a a, a, a restaurant on the eighth and ninth floors, which closed in uh, 2012 because of declining patrons, and now it's a private event center, which can only access via the Simpson Tower, which is right here, and that's the headquarters of the uh, HBC. Other than that, uh, the, I like the old uh, exterior of the buildings, but since uh, Cal like Fairview bought it out, eh, I don't know what to say. But, okay, it's not terrible or anything, it's just, it was a change that I had to, you know, adapt, you know? And uh, here we are, Queen Street West. Uh, let's see what is happening at Nathan Phillips Square. Again, there's Old City Hall. Hopefully, don't get copyrighted by this uh, music. Sounds like religious music they're blasting on the other side. And I apologize for the glare. But the sun's gonna go down in uh, two hours. I'm not really a fan of Simpsons of uh, Simpson Towers uh, recent cladding. Though I do like the elevators inside there. They're quite nice, even though they've been modernized like over a decade ago. Yeah, this taxi was way over at a crosswalk. Friggin' Nova buses! I prefer when uh, the 19 was served with uh, Orion's on uh, Mount Dennis. I think that, sh that would have been... Like, I already filmed the ride on the 19 heading south. I wanted to do, like, north. But I don't know. I honestly don't friggin' know. Well, we have an election coming up at the end of the month. So if you're in Toronto, pay attention to what our candidates are saying. Actually, I was here last uh, Saturday filming the elevators, and then next day, I went into City Hall, part of Doors Open. And I did a video there of mostly the elevators and the observation deck on the 27th floor. Anyway, this place is busy, no matter what time of day it is. Maybe except for the morning, but and look, there's the uh, Brain Project on the right side of the pool. And yes, Nathan Phillips Square opened in 1966. After the former mayor of the same name. And is that new and hey that must that's I think that's new indigenous art they just uh installed here. I don't think this was there last last week. Oh look at the fountains. Oh I love that. I could stay out longer, but I've already been out for six hours, and also my battery is low. Or it's getting there, so I want to go home and charge it. Actually, no, uh, I might go over to my neighbor's place who has internet. I don't think I'm going to bring my laptop over, but anyway, we're going to end it off here inside the 3D TO sign and the fountains. A beautiful sight. It's obviously photogenic because. All these people here and even behind me, they're taking pictures and so can I. I can feel the water. Anyway, I've, I'm going to head over to the subway now and start heading home. So guys, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So always stay tuned for more videos and check out my efforts as well. Enjoy your, enjoy your last few weeks of spring and look forward to the summer. And definitely more summer-like things to come. And, Hopefully we'll get together more people and uh, think of how to be creative with this channel. So uh, guys, always look forward to your positive comments. So guys, uh, take care. Adios. Muchas gracias. And sayonara. Bye-bye.